Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiners war ein Befehl! Wer schickt sie? Das hier ist Baden, die sein Befehl zu ihr setzen! Oh, weit ist das also I was summoned, shoved onto a train for France. For some reason, I was handed a bunch of satchel charges and AT mines. I didn't ask questions and got straight to work. What's the thing to think? Whereabouts? Uh, near the OP. Oh, I see, I see it. This is my chance. There was a slight setback, but after serving some time at the medical tents, I was back. I was back with a vengeance, and I knew that I had to get rid of that tank, and I would do anything in my power to make sure I did just that. So I traveled, and I ran, and I got to that tank, and... I fucking got it. I've got the satchel on it, sir. I see, I see. Good job. Are you proud of me? Sir, are you proud of me? Sir. Are you proud of me, sir? Well done, well done. Gracias. The first mission was completed, but I knew there would be way more. But I just had to tell someone about what I'd just done. Hey, sir. Sir. Can you go into the house, please? Um, did you hear about my satchel charge on, on the tank in the town? No, bro. Yeah, went to Satchel on it, all by myself. Are you proud of me? I'm very proud of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Filled with confidence, I traveled to see what my next orders were. To see what my next mission was. It was a great day. A great day until. Oh, damn ass. Walking a bit funny due to being shot, I made it to the ruins of the city. I was informed to hold the place down to keep the Americans out. But it seems I was already too late. The ruins had people scurrying about through the alleyways and I knew I had to be alert, I had to keep my eyes open. But I scouted the area, got my satchel charges and AT mines at the ready. I was ready to cause chaos. I was doing a good job, picking them off one by one, most importantly, holding the point. When all of a sudden, I hear enemy footsteps outside, and I knew what I needed to do. Satchel was down, and to be honest, I was nervous. I was so nervous, but I knew I had to get out there. And that's what I did. I got away. 
and the job was done, the satchel was down. The satchel was down. After accidentally killing a teammate, I was kicked from my squad. I was squad leaderless, if that's a word. And I knew I had to get orders from someone else. But who that would be, I didn't know. Until I met Joe. Uh, Joe. Yo. I've lost, uh... It's been a hard war for me, sir. I've, uh, lost my officer and, uh, I found a traitor. In our, in our midst. And I was wondering, what are your orders, sir? I don't, I don't have any orders right now. My uh, squad leader's pretty uh, inexperienced. Well, I need your orders, sir. Uh, I, I need some fucking orders. I'm, I, 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 um, to be honest, I, I feel, I feel useless at the moment. I've got Can a satchel here. Please? Yeah, follow me. Joe saw the satchel charge, and I saw his eyes light up like a fucking Christmas tree. And I followed him. I followed him. Okay. So what's the plan, Joe? Joe was a bit quiet at first, but I knew he had a plan, and I just had to follow him and follow his commands. Sir? You're the bravest man I've ever met. I don't know what I'd do if I ever lost you, Joe. You've given my life meaning. Alright, keep your head down. Head is well and truly down, Joe. In this moment, I had no idea what the plan was. I could only sit and watch and just be in complete awe of Joe. I knew his plan would work, whatever it was. He was a true soldier. Do you have smoke grenades? I don't know. Okay, no problem. Hold here for a second. Yes, sir. Wow, Joe, you are amazing. One day I hope I can be half the soldier you are. <laughs> okay, we'll wait for that MG to reload and then we'll push the point. Yes, sir. Joe? Oh, fuck. Joe? <laughs> oh, fuck. Stay with me, Joe. I have no Joe. idea where that is. Joe, stay with me. Stay with me. It's, gonna, it's gonna be okay, Joe. I need a medic. I need a medic. Medic. We have one medic on our team. <laughs> Joe, Joe. Our team. Joe, I can't lose you. Tell me about yourself. How are you feeling? <laughs> Joe. Joe. After Joe, the finest soldier I ever met, got shot and died a hero, I knew I had to complete his mission. I knew I couldn't let his death be for nothing. I noticed he was eager to push the point after noticing my satchel charge. So, with the help of another soldier to give me cover, I pushed the point and planted the explosives. Get down, soldier. Get down and listen to me. I had a dear friend called Joe. A great leader, a great soldier. I showed him my satchel charge here, and his orders for me was to break into this point 
place a satchel charge. Fortunately, he died. But I can't let his death be in vain, soldier. I can't, and I won't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and I'm going to put this satchel charge down, but I need your help. Can you cover me? Can you cover me, soldier? Thank you. Now, I will be back. I will be back. Well done, soldier. And like that, with a covering fire from my dear friend back there, I ran into the point to fulfill Joe's mission, to blow up this point once and for all. Guys, get away, I'm satcheling the place. The satchel's down. The satchel was down, Joe's mission was completed. Okay, on your medic. I got back into town and things weren't going well. I even witnessed a soldier have a heart attack right in front of me. The war was almost finished. We were winning. An enemy tank approached the city and I knew I had to get rid of it. So I put my remaining AT mines in front of it and let it explode. Sadly, this happened. I would make it out of that war with two broken legs and a broken finger, but my spirit had never been stronger. We completed the mission, and Joe's death was never in vain. This is for you, Joe. Thank you. <laughs>